So we're going to be starting off this tour on the south side of the Sanford Stadium. So you can kind of see the back side of the stadium from there. We're going to turn to the left. We're just going to walk up this street. A lot of things that you'll see on this side of campus is mainly STEM and athletics. So bear with me as I'm not a STEM student. So I kind of don't really know what most of these buildings are, but I'll tell you as much as I know. So the first thing that you'll see is a guide as to where everything is on South Campus. So if you ever get lost and you don't know what to do, here is a good place to see where you're at and where you should be going. And now the first building that you're seeing to your left is the physics building. And if you just turn around, there's some residence halls, but we'll try to get to that a little bit later. So if you keep on walking up this hill, if you turn to the right, that area is called Ag Hill. And we're just gonna keep on walking up this side of the street. As you can see, there was a lot of construction happening on campus right now, cause it's the summer, but who knows. What you see to the left of you, you kind of can't really see because there's a lot of trees in the way, but that's just the chemistry building along with two of the auditoriums of the chemistry building. And now if you look at this building right in front of you, that is the Biological Sciences Building. And if you just keep walking down this street, there's not really much that people go into. That next building in front of us is the Poultry Sciences Building. And then if you keep going down that road, you'll see the ETIS building, but not much. So we're just gonna make this right. We're gonna cut through all of this parking lot just show you what's on the other side of this parking lot. And the first building that you will see right here is the textiles, merchandising, and interiors build building. So if you're a fashion merchandising major or if you're in TXMI courses, you'll most likely be in this building. And the official name for that building is Barrow Hall. And if you just keep walking down that sidewalk, what you're seeing right now, this huge building is the Science Library building. So any science stuff, they have their own library to themselves that's separate from the library that's on main campus. Now, if you keep on walking down that sidewalk, if you turn to the left, you'll see the Air Force building. So usually during a normal week, during the day, you'll see people in their uniform doing their routes, practicing everything that they need to be practicing in their uniform. It's pretty cool. So we just took a right and we're gonna keep walking down. We're gonna take another right on this path just to show you all some of the residence halls on South Campus that we passed earlier. And once we cross this crosswalk, you will see Myers Quad. This is where all of your Myers community residence halls are gonna be. These are some of the um, low rises on campus as well. This quad, when it's nice and hot outside, you'll see a lot of people out here playing with Frisbees, walking their dogs, just out here studying, getting a tan. You'll see events happening here or anything. So Myers Quad is definitely the place to know about and definitely the place to be. This is just another residence hall and a bus stop that you're looking at right now. But we're gonna take a right and we're gonna walk down the street just a little bit more to see what else is over here. The next thing that you'll see is the South Campus parking deck. You'll see a lot of people park there during basketball games or volleyball games or gymnastic meets. The next thing that we will see, we're about to actually take a left on this street over here is Snelling Dining Commons. This is one of the five dining commons that we have on campus. You see a lot of different things here. This is where we have our tradition of celebrating. It happens after midnight and that's when they start serving breakfast. This is our 24 five dining hall in the sense where they are open all day, five days out the week, but they, not really five days out the week, <laughs> but they stop serving on Friday 
around midday. So if you ever need a late night snack while you're studying, that's where you wanna go. If you keep walking down this street a little bit, you'll see the dance building. There's a nice theater in here. So of course, if you have any dance classes or anything like that, you'll be over here in this building. Now we're just gonna cross the street on the right side and we're gonna see what's over here. You'll see the first building to your right is the pharmacy building and we're actually gonna take this right over here to show you guys a nice gem that we have on campus. What we're actually walking into is called the Trial Gardens. This is a nice place to go to just to relax, to study. A lot of research happens over here as well with a lot of the wildlife along with some of the different things that they plant and garden on campus. You'll see there are a lot of benches on the side. So if you ever wanna come and study or just have a nice place to relax, or eat anything that you just got from snowing, this is the place to be. And we're just gonna walk through that. We just took a lift. There's a lot of parking and dumpsters, so I cut all that out <laughs> for y'all's eye. And where we're actually gonna be walking to is the Family and Consumer Sciences buildings. They kind of look like houses, because they kind of are. Y'all know UGA is old, so. <laughs> not much to see here just some of the family and consumer sciences buildings this building that you see right in front of us it doesn't look like it but it's actually the center for continuing education and hotel it's a hotel that sometimes athletes stay at if there is a game or just any visitors can also stay there as well it doesn't look like a hotel from the outside but trust me there's a hotel in there and just to show you all we're gonna take a quick spin just to show you all that this is also where we just were at with Snelling. It's just the other side of Snelling. I'm gonna go back and just walk down the street just a little bit more. We're not gonna walk all the way down the street because most students don't really need to go down there. But what you can see us zooming into right now is the football training facility. If you're an athlete, you're gonna be spending some of your time down there, but usual normal students don't actually go down there much. And now when we take this left, you will see the beauty that is the Stegman Coliseum. In here, you'll get everything from women's and men's basketball games to gymnastic meets to volleyball games and any other random event. And winter graduation is also held in the Steg. So if you just turn right back over to the left, you'll see those are the Family Consumer Sciences buildings that we were just at. So we're gonna walk down the street just a little bit more. And the first building that you see to the left of us is the Science Learning Center. This is a longer way of saying SLC. You have some of your beginner science classes in here as well as just anything else. And if you look to the right of that, you'll actually see the athletic training complex, facility, whatever you want to call it. So you'll see most of the athletes in here working out, getting in the weight room, anything like that. If you go down this street, we don't walk down that either, but down there you will also, it would be the backside of the Stegman Coliseum. You'll also be able to get to the tennis courts as well as Foley Field, which is where our baseball team plays at. And you'll also be able to see the football training facility down that road as well. So we just walked down this road just a little bit more. We're going to take a left to show you all what is on the backside of the Science Learning Center. And the first building that you see to the right is actually the Plant Sciences Building. And if you look back to the left, you will also see the SLC, the behind space of it. A lot of people usually hang out right there. When the sun is shining down, it will be beaming right there, but that's a lot of places where people like to go and eat their snack, their lunch at or whatever, or just study. I want to take y'all down that sidewalk, but as you can see, there was a lot of water and sprinkling happening, so we didn't go down there. But over here is one of the hidden gems of campus and a lot of places that people don't usually go. And one place that I'm having on my bucket list to actually go to. To the left of you, you actually see the creamery that's on campus. It's not open. 
every day or even all day. So it's definitely a place to try and go to with your friends if you can find the time within your schedule, but definitely that's on my bucket list to go to. Now what we just did is we took a left. Like I said, this is where all the real science -y buildings are. So honestly, I don't know what most of these buildings are for, but if you are a STEM major, just know that you will be spending a lot of your time on this side of campus. And now one of these buildings that you can see to the left of us is actually the life sciences complex. And we're just going to continue to walk down this side of the street. We're going to get to what's on the other side of the street later, but we're just going to show you all what's on this side right now. And now we're getting to one of the last buildings on this side of the street. And this building that we're coming up on right now is called Tucker Hall. Once again, I'm not too sure of what they do inside this building, but if you're a STEM major, just expect to hear about this building. <laughs> And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a loop down, but I just wanna show you guys what's further down this road to the left of you. They're actually doing another, they're doing some construction down this road for another science building. And if you continue going down that road, you'll also get to see the other backside of the Sanford Stadium. Now, if you look over there, if you see the bridge and that structure, if you remember and you watch the East Campus tour, that if you cross that bridge, you'll be walking into East Campus. So now we're just gonna turn back around and walk down this side of the street. We're still gonna get to the buildings over here, but we're gonna get to it when we walk on the other side of the next street. <laughs> So what we're gonna do real quick, we've already seen all the buildings down there, but we're just gonna take this left and make a cut through this parking lot. And now to show you all that we kind of made a little big circle, I'm gonna show you all what's on the right side of the street. If you look down there, you can kind of see, you'll see the Stegman Coliseum again, along with where the Science Learning Center was. So this is all one long street. Now we're just gonna turn back around and walk down the rest of the street. The first building that you'll see is the Forestry Sciences Laboratory. So if you're into all that, you'll most likely be in this building, but I don't see many people go in and out. And if we continue walking down the street, that building to the right of you is another plant science building. And this building to the left of you used to be called Adderhold Hall, but has been recently changed last year to the Mary Frances Early College of Education. If you are an education major, early college education major, you will be spending a lot of your time in here and we are very happy about the name change. <laughs> so this is one of the last buildings on South Campus. So our tour is sadly almost coming to an end, but I just wanna show you all the rest of this street just to show you how everything all connects together. And of course, if you remember from any of the other tour videos, if you see blue lines on the ground, that means that it is a bus stop. When they change bus stops, they will also paint over that. So you never have to be lost on campus. If you are looking for a bus, look for the blue line. You will know that is where a bus stop is.
And also, as we're ending out this tour, I do just want to say make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to see when the last tour does come out. Unfortunately, we are almost done with all the parts of campus. If you haven't seen the other tours of the other parts of campus, make sure that you go in the description box. I will leave the link to my campus tour series down in the description box below and i'll also link some of the videos in the i cards if you want to see those as well and like i said stay tuned for when the last tour does come out also make sure you just comment just say what is your favorite part of south campus or what are you most excited to doing once you get to campus also remember to follow me on instagram at i'm Cecily Drew because of course i'm able to interact with you all way more often on there and just chat it up because i'm on my phone way more than you two and if you just look at what's in front of us, this is actually East Campus Road. This is what connects South Campus to East Campus. And if you can kind of see, there is a train track right there. It's a dead railroad. But if you go right across that, you'll be in East Campus. And unfortunately, this is the end of our tour. But of course, I'll see you all in the next video. And I just want you all to know that, of course, I love you all so, 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 so much. And my name is Sincerely Dree, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.